As many of you may know, but most probably don't, I own a Minecraft server that I play on with friends. This server goes by the name of Quartz Army. About a month ago, Quartz Army reached one year of age. To commemorate that, I wanted to make a video explaining the history of the server and its events. When I say that Quartz Army hit one year of age, I mean this iteration of Quartz Army. Quartz Army has had many iterations, but the latest version has been rich with events. How did such a silly Minecraft server lead to love, tragedy, bloodshed, and betrayal? This is the story of the lore on the Quartz Army SMP. Lore on Quartz Army, or Kiwi as we call it, is handled quite differently than many famous SMPs, such as the Dream SMP. Instead of writing down how we want events to end, we just play the game and overreact to things that happen. So all that being said, let's go on a small history lesson, shall we? The server itself started on the day that the Nether update was released, on June 23rd, 2020. The first few months were fun, but it just felt like a normal SMP. But sometime in those months we built a courthouse and appointed our friend Madeline as judge, you know, just in case we had legal problems. But at first, she didn't really have any court cases to work with. After a while, the server started getting dry, with only one or two people on a day. But then, someone brought up a brilliant idea to spice things up. Capitalism. We would use diamonds as currency and make a system where people can exchange diamonds for goods, which is the basic storybook explanation that people go with. And that's fun and all, but it isn't enough to make things interesting again. But, a member of the server, Ash, along with Devil and the Strange, created a society known as Traps, the Rich People Society. The A stands for a... As the name suggests, the richest people on the server had an opportunity to join for a fee of diamond blocks. And I was under the impression that it would just be a little fun joke, and it was just us pretending to be elites when we didn't do anything. So I joined. Boy, was I kind of right, actually. The society was a mixed bag. We let people borrow money in exchange for some collateral if they didn't do what we told them to. Ash was less active compared to the other members of the server, so a lot of the control of the society was left in the hands of the other co-creator. So let's go back to Devlin the Strange. Devlin has been playing since day one, and aside from me, he's the most active member of the server. He was the one who built the entire complex for the society along with the farms and decorations. One day, he saw me building a Lowe's in reference to Scott the Woz, so he and Ash made another blue store across from it, the IKEA. Now, the IKEA was an interesting choice, and after Devlin told me about it, I showed him the infinite IKEA SCP-3008, which is an endless maze, so Devlin decided to implement a maze into the design of his IKEA. He also wanted a fun challenge, so instead of just finding your way to the end, you also needed to find customer service along the way. This room was a 6x8 block room with a desk and a dispenser filled with receipts, and behind that desk sat our beloved sales associate, Brian the Pig. Now let's bring in a streamer friend of mine, the Loving Jevil. One day in November, she was streaming her playing on the server, and we were showing her around, when Devlin suggested we should show her the IKEA. After a while in the maze, she found Brian, and one of her mods, Deer, rallied hard for the murdering of Brian, or the barbecuing as they said it. Jevil, being just a guest on the server and not wanting to cause any harm, told him to stop and just continue playing. But that was before money was involved. <laughs> After she walked outside, one of her other mods, War Knights, said he would give 5 subs, the equivalent of $25, if she killed Brian. Despite our best efforts to stop her, she ran into the Ikea and with multiple hits of her iron sword, killed Brian with no remorse. But this act of villainy was not going to be forgotten, no. There was public outcry, justice had to be reached, so we called up Judge Madeline and got ourselves a court date. I've already shown this trial, so I'm not going to go too in depth, but if you're curious I'll link the video in the description. This was my last video on Quartz Army as of this moment. Jevil and her lawyer Bliss tried to defend their case, but murder with evidence isn't something you can dismiss, so in the end the jury found Jevil guilty of murder and conspiracy to commit murder. But one problem, Jevil left the Discord call, meaning she never got a conviction. Devlin took the death of Brian personally, so much so that Brian became a religious figure in the society. Even the icon for the society's Discord server, and yes there's a Discord server, was a diamond with Brian the pig on it. The day of the trial, we had a new player join Quartz Army. Misty Kitty 33418. Misty also goes by Moss, so I will be interchanging between the two throughout this video. Moss started building a home on a mountain, and this mountain became one of the server's most recognizable landmarks. 
let's skip forward a couple months to February 2021. If not already obvious, the people of Kiwe love their animals. Devlin loved going around the server with his prized mule, Skadoosh, and showing him to people. And at this point, Misty had a bee area that was one of their favorite parts of their mountain. Three months had passed since the slaughter of Brian, and for most of us, this was just a thing of the past, so we forgave Jevil and invited her to commemorate Valentine's Day with us. We decided to host a wedding for her and her boyfriend, Berserk51. Among the guests of the wedding were Starstrider, Deer, and Springdo. These three people were caught lurking in the shadows before, during, and after the wedding with carved pumpkins in their heads, and they went by the nickname The Terrorists. So Jevil and Berserker got married, and it was all fun and good, until a familiar face joined the game. Devlin still didn't forgive Jevil for the slaughter of Brian, and he had only one goal in his mind this evening. Revenge. Devlin met up with the terrorists on the top of the hotel, and they began a summoning ritual. Devlin covered himself up, and Deer awakened him from his cocoon. This symbolic gesture set Devlin loose to believe he was a god. In the eyes of Devlin, this was the redemption of Deer. The same man who ordered the killing of Brian is now helping Devlin rise. Devlin then went on to his first act as god. He met up with another member of the terrorist, Star Strider, and granted him supplies. After giving him a full set of diamond armor and weapons, he only had one message to Star. Cause mischief. And Star set out to do just that. He had his eyes set on one target, Misty's bees. And one thing you must know is you do not mess with Misty. Misty was warned about this plan and went after the culprit, but they misidentified Berserker 51 as Star Strider and the first blood was shed. Misty then went to collect their bees into a shulker while I tracked down the source of this. Devil the Strange. The battle had started. Moss had collected their bees in a shulker and went off to find Star, but with their guard let down, Star entered the bee dome and stole the shulker. All the innocent bees in that shulker were threatened to be destroyed. Misty quickly returned and swiftly killed Star as he tried to retreat to the portal. In the meantime, I was still tracking Devil in our own spawn. In a combination of my poor aim and his masterful evasive maneuvers made me barely land a hit on him. After a while of flying, Devlin finally shook me from his tail and he retreated. Being separated from Star, Devlin could no longer supply him, so Misty and I decided to leverage a ceasefire by threatening Devlin in a way we knew would hit hard. We stole Skadoosh and let Devlin know about the situation. We then harmed Skadoosh with magma blocks, leaving him with low health. Devlin was hidden out at the society, and I knew that's the only place he could have gone. Misty had their own plans with Skadoosh. Misty hid Skadoosh in their base, promising not to give away where he is until Devlin backed down. After chasing Devlin on foot, I finally killed him and flew to meet up with Misty. My elytra durability was running low, and so my elytra broke midair, causing my only death in this battle. A 
skeleton had picked up my stuff and using their only totem of undying, Misty killed the skeleton and I retrieved my stuff. The battle was over. The next morning, Misty went to check on Skadoosh in order to return him to Devlin as promised. But he was gone without a trace. They told me about it, and we thought the only reasonable explanation was that he somehow drowned himself in the water stream. We broke this news to Devlin and it shook his world. First Brian and now this. He ran throughout the stages of grief. Devlin believed that Misty and I murdered Skadoosh in cold blood. He threatened to sue Misty and I for the poor treatment of Skadoosh or the killing, as he believed. But he ended up not suing, because of all the things we could sue him against for starting the battle. But the blame didn't matter. It doesn't matter if he drowned himself, if he disappeared into a chunk error, or if we brutally killed him as Devlin believes, he was still gone and there's nothing we can do about it. Although Devlin was still mad and missed his friend, he decided to build instead of destroy. So instead of responding with anger, he decided to bring growth and built a foundation of a new area, Skadushtin. That was all six months ago, and QA has changed a lot since then. This was just the major lore so far. Since then, we have gotten a lot of progress in the server. Misty finished their mountain. And many people have joined and started their own lore, like Bongo's sponge religion. Even the courthouse area has changed with now downtown being built around it. And that wraps up the bulk of Kiwi's lore so far. So what's the real reason I made this video? It's because none of the new people on the server know what happened. Everything. What's everything you know about Skadoosh? I don't. I don't know anything about Skadoosh. <laughs> hydro, Hydro. Uh -huh. Tell me what you know about Skadoosh. Who's Skadoosh? Uh, uh, I think it's a parrot that was named after a town. I see. I see. Like this shape of the server, and no one knows about. It. So guys, that was this video. I hope you enjoyed because this took months to make. And thank you so much to my actors, Tronksta, Devlin, SCP Bongo Cat, Hydrapples, Flamgop, Daisy Denise, The Loving Jevil, Berserker51, Amaya, Misty Kitty33418, and more than I'm probably forgetting the names because there were so many people helping me out with this. Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Misty also goes by Moss, so I will be- is that a bug on my screen? What the hell?